Hello friends, today I am going to solve Lidcot problem number 459 repeated substring pattern. In this problem we are given a string as and we need to check if the string can be constructed by taking a substring of it and appending multiple copies of the substring together. So what does this mean? Let's take this example here and let's try to figure out what the problem statement is and how we can approach the solution, okay? So we are given a string as and we are said that if the string can be constructed by taking a substring and appending multiple copies of it, okay? So let's take a substring. A is also a substring, right? So can we take a substring A and append multiple copies of it to get the string as? No, right? Because these have um, different we are just repeatedly adding a over here but we have a b c here as well right so we cannot do that so what do we need to do is we then take the substring a b now can we create a string as by taking these two substrings and appending them together a b a b and so on so we cannot because right we have a b and then we have a C over here too. So we cannot do that. So we need to take the substring A, B and C, right? A, B, C. And when we uh, append it multiple times, which is one, two, and three more times. So if we append it three more times, then we'll get the string S, right? So that is what the question is about. And we need to find if we are able to uh get this substring from the string as if not we are going to return a false okay now how do we find the substring how do we know that it can be constructed using a substring right so for that what we need to do is we are going to start from the first index and we are going to do the same thing that we did earlier okay let's first take the length of this string so the length of this string is since we have um, 12 right the length of this string is 12 now what are we going to do is uh, we take the character a first one and we try to append it multiple number of times so how many number of times do we need to append well um since the, the length of the string as is 12 and we are only taking the substring of single character so that would be length 1 so we need to make 12 right so we are going to append it 12 times so we do it 12 times and we check that the strings are not equal then we take a b and then we again uh, append it how many times since it is of length 2 to get 12 we need to multiply it by 6 right so we repeat it 6 times and the string as and the uh, pattern that we formed are also not equal so next we take a b and c right we take a b and c okay and this is of length 3 and we multiply it by 4 to get the length of the string as and we compare both the strings that we get and we return a true because both of them are equal now let's suppose that this was not we had an example for example let's take another string a b c d e and a b c d e okay so this string is of length 10 right and if we start from the first character we know that it would not form the substring would not form the string as right so we take a b it's still not forming the substring so we take a b c and if we are taking a b c one thing we need to notice is to get the string as these three characters repeatedly must uh, be of the exact length right so we must repeat it x number of times to get the 10 10 right so let's just do it uh 3x equals 10 okay so let's do some algorithm or algebra over here and what do we get is 10 by 3 which is not a whole number we get 3.333 right so this is not a whole number basically that means that this length of substring cannot give us the string as so we can just uh, reject it right there only if the 
length is not divisible by the length of the substring x okay uh, which is equals to 3 over here so we just uh, reject it right over there okay now that 3 is not divisible we take one more string and we get the length 4 and we know that 10 is also not divisible by 4 so we again reject this one and we move on and we take the length 5 okay now 5 divides 10 right so we can take this five string and then we try to append um, one more right so what we get is we get the string as and we return true okay and um let us suppose that we did not we were not able to get the value so we had something f and then b okay so do we need to go further if there was a no there there will be no match in this case right so do we need to go further if we take these f f values this will be of length six and now if we repeat any number of six any number of times we will not get 10 at all right six repeated one more time six plus six would give us 12 so 12 is greater than 10 so in that case also what we can do is we can reject it so we are only going to check until the half okay uh, we are only going to check until the half length which is for this case since a string s is of length 10 so we will only check until we raise the middle point which is 5 okay and so on so this is how we are going to solve this problem um we are going to iterate starting from zero until the length half of the length and we are going to also check if it is divisible by uh the length of the string as is divisible by the string by the length of the substring let us suppose it as y and then if it is then we get the pattern and we repeat it x number of times and if um, both the strings that we get are equal then we return to now let's try to code it so let n equals length okay so we got our length now for let i starting from zero i is less than equals to so half of the length right so n divided by 2 i plus plus and we also are going to check if uh, n is divisible by i that is if we get a whole number then only we are going to create the pattern so let pattern equals empty string for now it is empty now we are going to iterate starting from zero until j is uh, less than half of the length right j is less than the number of times we are going to now repeat it so j is less than and divide by i right uh, because i is the length over here and j plus plus so pattern okay pattern plus p a t t plus equals as dot substring we are going to add the substring from our as uh, starting from zero and it should be the length of the substring right so these many times we are appending to our pattern and if okay after appending if pattern is equals to s then we just return true because we found a pattern else we return false right now let's try to run this and check if this works fine all right let's submit this now awesome now let's talk about the time complexity and the space complexity so here the space complexity would be o of n because we are creating a pattern which is of the length equals to the length of the string s right and uh, the space complexity here since we are iterating over half of the length of the string and um, here also we are 
performing some iteration so that would be of n square time complexity okay um, so that is all about this uh, solution i hope you liked it please like and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you want any more um, discussion or 